Tell a little bit about how we got here. Well, I always remember the song being, you know, big and ballsy. And he said, you know, we never really rocked that out the way we wanted to. So I said, well, let's try it. <laughs> this is what we came up with. Yeah, so, you know, and I, I'm not a singer. I know this. But uh, so I did a scratch vocal. I said it to Steve Tyler. And you know, Steve, an old friend, and I said, Steve, would you sing this song? He said, well, yeah, he does something. Who's the singer? I said, well, it's me. I'm just doing a scratch vocal. And he said, well, why don't you sing it? He said, I'm not a singer. And he said, well, you are. So just go ahead and sing it. So I figured he knows more about this stuff than I do. <laughs> so anyway, here's a new version, uh, our first single, Mile School. And it's all Steve Tyler's fault. Yeah, he's <laughs>
One of the things about this guy is so such a genius is uh, I should tell the white side story because that's how we did this, right? No, Charlie. No, okay. We don't talk about it anymore. Just do it. Come on. No, no, I gotta tell the story. No, you're gonna win. Okay. I gotta tell the story. Short story. I met CJ in Chicago. We were doing a ton of jingles together. Those were like 30 second, 60 second commercial. Uh, he's one of the top studio musicians in Chicago. Anyway, um, they're calling me up to come in town and do a bunch of jingles. And so I'm sleeping on the couch at Universal Studios. You know, my wife's staying in the hotel, you know, 7 o'clock downbeat all the way to midnight. So what the hell? So on a Thursday, I think it was Thursday, uh, Mr. Bobby W., because I don't want to disrespect the gentleman, uh, comes into the studio baked. I mean, <laughs> and, he, and he says, you, you, you guys are ready? So he, I would just he looks at me and says, yeah, I guess we're ready. And so he hands out the sheet music. It says, Hyatt, was that right? Hyatt? Hyatt. Hyatt. So it was Hyatt Hotel. 30. Yeah. 30 seconds. 30 second spot. And had a key signature, a time signature, and 64 bars with nothing in them. <laughs> so... You, being a studio musician is kind of like being a you know a, a, a cliff diver. So I looked at CJ and CJ looked at me and said, "What what happened? You know, what happened after that?" Just, we just went. We just counted <laughs> off. Next thing you know, it's a Hyatt ad, and we got no what writing credit. Guess you heard that story before. Huh? <laughs> so what we discovered? We got free vodka from Bobby. God <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Um, Special payments thought was good on that. Anyway, so uh, what we discovered was that we could actually write music on the fly. So this particular song, one of the tunes that we did, is a song called Yourself. And we just set the uh, set the drum machine that started to play. And at the end of this, we looked at each other and said, we got a song. Uh, playing with this guy is just frighteningly unbelievable. So here we go.
anywhere in the right part of the country, right? That's right. Uh, CJ and I are both uh, aviation fans. He's a big aviation buff, and of course, in my day job, I get to work with the big toys. Yeah. So we decided to, to work the title because we call the album Speed of Heat. And so the president of the record company looks at it and says, God, I love the title. Let's call it Speed of Heat. I said, okay, do you know what Speed of Heat is? No, I don't care. I don't care. let call it Speed of Heat. Anyway, Speed of Heat, for all you folks out there, Curtis, you know this, that um, Curtis over there, we, we just work in Curtis knows Canada. everything. Absolutely. <laughs> that uh, Speed of Heat is the, uh, is the phenomenon that happens when a a, 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 an aerodynamic body begins to get close to the speed of sound, all the thermodynamics and that phenomenon that happened there. So, speed, speed, speed. Yeah, so, <clears throat> this new uh, upstart pilot is getting his start on the F-14, which has two seats, and he goes up with the old, uh, you know, the old uh, crow that's been flying for years, he's gonna take him up in the F-14, he says, you can enjoy this, but there's a thing called speed of heat, and the only way you can tell it is the heat builds up at the fulcrum point on the plane, and you're sitting at the fulcrum point, so you gotta tell me if you feel it getting hot. Because I'm not gonna feel it, because then we're just gonna break it down. Of course he gets up, and this kid's like, oh, I got it, don't worry about it. And he banks it up, and he turns the heat on in the back seat. And all of a sudden you're, speedy, 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 speedy. Don't forget to tip the waitress. He had to clean his pants out when he got back, so it's kind of a dual meeting for the title of the movie. So.
I listened to a lot of bands like The Ventures and The Shadows and Jorgen and Ingen and my, my favorite song was a song called Apache. Yeah. 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 I don't know if anybody remembers that song. Shadows. But it's a good, beautiful song. Good place in the sun instead. <laughs> <laughs> So we gotta slow it down. Well, actually, this is not kind of it's slow. I just thought we follow the set list. I know it's a novel. <laughs> it's just a little weird and wacky up here, you know. <laughs> is that what sum is? S U M. Talk to Frank. He's the boss. Frankie, what are you doing, lot? <laughs> <laughs> It's all like Gaelic stuff, you know? <laughs> well, but we called in a friend on uh, this one, Jeffrey. Yes, start trying to get this thing to work here. I'll talk. Oh, I'll try something else. Like sure. That. Sorry. We called in a friend on this one. Was it muted? I'm placing the sun. We're doing placing the sun, right? Yeah. We're doing sun. Are we in Annapolis? Is that the <laughs> <laughs> sun? It's the sun. Right. So tell you. Thank you. Beautiful song. Again, CJ's incredible composing and producing skills. We did this song with uh, Michael McDonald. Mike came in to do uh, a couple of tunes with us. And the deal was you can play with us on two conditions. We do something that you've never done before and you write with myself and CJ. And the idea, oh, you've got to go. Thank you very much. And what was funny is we've been to the NAM show where they show all the new guitars and stuff. And Jeff says, what are you looking for? So I really like a ukulele. I've never had the ukulele. So all the ones I looked at were like seven uh, bucks, two hundred dollars. They were cheap. I came around the corner and was this. Oh my god! I picked it up. So this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's how much is it? Twenty-three hundred. So I got back. So he comes around the corner. I said, "Jeff, play this thing." So he starts playing. And I, there, there was a Hawaiian band, and they said, "Are you Scott Baxter? Will you play with us?" So now he's playing with a Hawaiian band. <laughs> And I've got my HD camera and I'm like taping it. And the owner of the booth comes over and he goes, Are you recording this? And I'm like, mm -hmm. He goes, uh, Can I get a copy? And I'm like, Dogfish. <laughs> hey, I'm a session sausage. I can play ukulele. So we get two ukuleles. So he calls me the day Michael McDonald was flying into town. We got to pick him up at LAX. So he says, I got a surprise for He pulls up to my house, opens the back of his SUV. Two brand new $2,300 you go in. We're so happy. So we drive to LDS, and we're looking for Michael McDonald. Not hard to find with the white swath of hair. <laughs> He's carrying a fucking ukulele. <laughs> so now it's three ukes. Wait, so with the name of the band is the Tree Ukes. Tree Ukes. Tree Ukes. So we left him we left him in the car overnight. When we got in the morning, someone had broken in. There were four. Anyway. <laughs> The, uh, Michael had never done anything like this, and again, the whole idea was let's try to do something very different. And Hank, who was going to sing tonight, uh, his interpretation of this piece of music, Michael's a great singer, there's no doubt about it, but Hank has got a very, very special point of view on this. <laughs> awesome. So let's do some of <laughs>
my goodness, that's fine. No, you know me, I'll have to go to the bathroom and interrupt the show, so. I mean, it was a botched bladder surgery, 13 years old. I was wiping the bathroom because my parents said, Anyway, here's a song about great noble people. And again, we do took the song, we thought we'd add a little, uh, little pizzazz to it. Okay.
Wrong show. All right. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.